Before we begin, let me just say thank you guys for your continued support. I do hope to grow this channel and its community as much as I can. So if you do enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to keep up with any channel news, you can always follow me on Twitter. Battlefield 2042 is now delayed for a November release. Whatever could this mean? While a lot of games as of late have been getting delayed for one reason or another, and the Battlefield franchise isn't new to having bad launches. So this is a red flag for one, to see a Battlefield game get delayed. With this said, DICE has done a decent job with continuing support for Battlefield games after launch, and include new content years down the line. One of the biggest blunders in Battlefield I would say was Battlefield 4. The game had so many issues at launch that EA was sued for producing such a poor product. So that alone may save the regular multiplayer side of things eventually, however it could spell doom for Hazard Zone if it's not polished. We still have very little details as to what Hazard Zone is, but it's been rumored plenty of times that will be a free to play mode. Now if it is free to play, yes it would have an audience regardless, but if the game can't deliver a good experience, it will quickly fade away again into obscurity. The closest example we had with a mode like this was when Battlefield 5 had the Firestorm Battle Royale mode, which was stuck behind the full price of the Battlefield 5 game. Even so, the interest for that mode faded quickly, and I don't recall any large streamers or content creators making consistent content playing Firestorm for months down the road, outside of your usual suspects like Jack Frax. It felt more like a month went by and the mode was dead on arrival. This is a big concern for me as I would love to have Hazard Zone be the main game that I play. I'm tired of Warzone and Activision's incompetence, and Apex Legends has its own plethora of problems. I actually feel like I got nothing to play most times now, at least not anything that is multiplayer based. Vanguard didn't impress me and we don't seem to be getting any other shooters or unique multiplayer games anytime soon other than Halo Infinite. In short, if 2042 does fail and Hazard Zone is a mess, I will have to hope that I enjoy Halo Infinite. Another thing to keep tabs on is how Battlefield 2042 tackles the oncoming hacking situation. I do have high hopes that they'll be able to hardware and IP ban hackers, and do so at a rate that it actually feels like it's working. There isn't, sadly, a cure-all for stopping hackers, and the methods that do work tend to be very invasive, such as Valorant's anti-cheat system. For me, I'm still tired of seeing hackers in all my years of gaming, I don't really care what that solution is, so long as it works and it does not affect the game's performance or the performance of any other games I play. Systems like Easy Anti-Cheat currently can only do so much, and although they do find and ban hackers, it is usually after the fact, when your experience is already ruined. We don't need a reactive anti-cheat, rather we need a proactive anti-cheat, and one that would stop the cheater from even loading up into the game. That's not something that can be done easily, and will definitely require a lot of work to have happen, plus a lot of upkeep to keep it working. However, as much as I do care that Battlefield 2042 does have a working anti-cheat, I can still find solace by playing in other modes, whether it's the regular Battlefield Conquest modes, or playing through the unique modes and setups in Battlefield Portal. I said it before, Battlefield Portal is the new standard, and one that every developer should be working towards. Yes, Halo did pretty much beat everyone else to the punch way back when, but Halo, especially during that time, is a console-based game, and was not PC-based. And that kind of freedom and ease of use on PC can make for some very unique game modes and experiences that DICE would never think of. Right now, DICE has showed the more extreme examples showing how, how much fun you may have creating these silly modes. However, Battlefield Portal could literally be the gateway to having any kind of balance or competitive play in the Battlefield franchise. I'm not saying it's going to happen, or it's going to happen anytime soon. But I could see players make a mode where all the overpowered and overused weapons are banned, and we get a more barebones skill-based mode. All in all, I'm still excited for Battlefield 2042 as a whole, just that with the delay and the mystery behind Hazard Zone and how they'll deal with the hackers is a major concern. Even so, I do think you can still find enjoyment in the game in one way or another that does not involve cheating. Let me know what you guys think about the game, what your expectations are, and what do you think about this delay. Until then, I am Mr. Rain, and I will see you guys next time.